Welcome everyone. Uh, we appreciate you joining with us this morning for our walkabout with John at the Garden Center. I'm John Crook, owner of Town & Country Gardens. And uh, this morning we're gonna just enjoy this little garden that we've created here at Town & Country Gardens and talk about a couple of the plants in there. Um, one of my favorite things to do is to create in my yard a, an oasis, a place to get away, a place to relax, a place to just unwind. And that's kind of what we've done right here in, in, in this garden. Now, before we start on a little tour of the garden, I want to just show off this beautiful tree. This is a hot wings maple. And you can see it gets about 15 to 25 feet high. This, is a, this has been in here for quite a while. Um, but it's noted for its bright red seeds. Um, as most maples, it has kind of that helicoptery um, uh, seed on it. And, but this one turns bright red this time of year and it's just gorgeous. Um, it's extremely hardy, hardy to minus 40. And, um, and it's also quite resistant to chlorosis where the Amer maple and others that are similar to this tend to turn yellow, their leaves turn yellow because of our alkalinity. This one doesn't seem to have much of an issue with that. So it's a great small tree um, for, uh, for your yard. And let's walk up a little closer, get a zoom in on the seed head so you can see those. But you can see they're just, just beautiful and um, a great choice. A tree that's a lot of people don't know about and it's a great choice for around here. So in our little garden here, we've got a little patio. Uh, we've got the, we've got some flowers growing and of course the uh, waterfall is our, is the main focal point here. Um, most of these flowers with the exception of the the colorful flowers down here, most of the rest of them are perennial flowers, so you don't have to, to uh, plant them every year. But my favorite thing about having a, uh, a, a bit of an oasis in your yard is being able to walk down a shady path. So Diana's saying I need to walk over this way, so she can see me and the waterfall, I guess. But let's take a stroll along the path here. Um, there's a few steps we made out with just uh, rock here uh, that just invites you into this shady oasis. And once we get inside, it just feels like the world has disappeared and we can just relax and enjoy. So we've used just some flagstone for steps along the walkway here. Now, you can see we have some beautiful aspen trees in here. Now, aspens, uh, I love aspens, they're gorgeous, but they do come with, um, with their problems. And so, you want to be careful in choosing aspen. Um, they do get a lot of disease. You, you know, you have to do some spraying for disease. They get borers, they get insect problems, and they send up suckers. As you can see, uh, here we have some little aspen suckers coming up. So you have to be willing to, um, you know, they're a fairly high maintenance tree. You, you gotta dig out the suckers, you gotta spray for disease and insects but they are a very fast growing, very beautiful tree in a, especially in a wooded area like this. Now, I'm gonna show you several things in our garden that are, that we've used, but are fairly high maintenance. One is the aspen tree. Another is right here, the bishop's weed. Now this is a beautiful variegated ground cover, but it is very, um, very aggressive and invasive. And so if you do plant that, you need to be ready for it to spread everywhere or else you need to plant it somewhere where you can contain it. 
And then this is the favorite part of my of the garden here. Um, so on the other side, we have the waterfall. On the back side of the water source, we have another waterfall, more of a cascading stream. So we actually have two waterfalls in one. And this one comes down and actually goes right under our pathway. We have a big, uh, big slab of rock that forms our bridge. And then it disappears into a, uh, into a disappearing pond. So just, it's just such a relaxing, wonderful little spot. Now, another plant that I want to uh, mention that is in our garden that is a high, um, high maintenance plant, but they can be beautiful if you're willing to do the work, and that's the sumac. And you can see we've got a couple of them planted here. In fact, actually, I think it probably was just the one, and then the other one was sucky that came up. But you can see how beautiful it is. However, they again are very vigorously suckery. And you can see here, these are all baby sumac plants that are coming up. And they're, you can see them right here by the, by the walkway. Uh, there's another one over there on the other side of the stream. Uh, right at the base of that aspen, uh, right behind us here, Diana. If you want to swing around, you can see more, more coming out up around these rocks. So it is a constant battle to keep those um, pruned out and dug out. Otherwise, they'll just take over the whole, the whole place. So you'll have to determine for yourself if it's worth it for you to. Um, you know, to go to that work for the beauty that they provide. Now, I want to just show one more thing. It's all on the pathway here. So, and we've got a variety of things. We've got some iris and nest spruce. We've got some roses, some barberry. But this one right here is one of my favorite hardy shrub roses. It's called Superhero, and it doesn't look too great right now because the sprinklers came on this morning, and so it's kind of it's kind of got it weighted down with water. But that is a beautiful hardy shrub rose called Superhero. If you want one that has nice bright red bl double blossoms, but is easy to care for, that is a great choice. So anyway, that's our little waterfall garden out here at Town & Country Gardens. We hope you'll stop by and uh, take a wander through and just uh, relax and enjoy a little bit and maybe get some ideas of something that you might be able to do in your yard. So I'm John Crook, Town & Country Gardens. We invite you to come out and visit us. Open 9 to 6, Monday through Saturday, south of Idaho Falls, right across from the Budweiser plant.